Hey guys, what is up? It is Ryder here with some breaking news that is so... Oh my god, I'm about to explode. But, with, you know, just... Just wait so I can explode. Alright. Disney Infinity 3.0 is going to be Star Wars. So today, just about an hour ago, or maybe two hours ago, depending on when I end up getting this video, you know, on YouTube... Disney and Disney Infinity and who I forget the game company that works with Disney on this uh, Activision no it's not Activision but whatever they released their first official trailer for Disney Infinity 3.0 edition which is going to be mainly based on the Star Wars theme and the Star Wars movies and the new characters that are going to be appearing in Star Wars The Force Awakens and that is actually a topic that, you know, Star Wars, that I really don't talk about that much. Just sort of because, I don't know, I, I mean, I don't really know. If you guys want me to, you know, if you're a regular subscriber or anything like that, and you want me to start talking about Star Wars, make sure you like this video or put it in the comments. But really, let's sort of talk about what is coming for Disney, 3, Disney Infinity 3.0. So, first of all. The main stuff is that, like I said, it's Star Wars themed. So that means that the, you know, the characters, the majority of the characters that come out for this game will be based on, or, or and they're going to be the characters from the movies. So expecting, you know, expect to see Obi-Wan, uh, Yoda, Darth Vader, um, I don't know, just, uh, you know, the Skywalkers, all of those, all of those guys, Princess Leia, Chewbacca for sure, uh, Darth Maul, um, I don't know, there's just all of the big characters. I'm, you know, in the trailer we saw R2-D2, so I feel like he would be actually a lot of fun to play with in Disney Infinity 3.0. And then also C-3PO, he, he could be a lot of fun also. I think that the two of them could actually come end up coming in a two pack together, and they, you know, because like they're almost like I feel like you know when I think of CP three O, I automatically think of R two D two. So I really hope they do something like that. That could be a lot of fun. Um, the trailer looked awesome. We heard the epic Star Wars music in the background. We the graphics look just as good, or maybe even better than Disney Infinity two point oh. And I don't know, I just love it. It looks so much fun. It's going to be so fun to play. Um, you know, I wonder how they're going to do it because they're going, to, they're going to have six previous movies to take story and concept and, you know, different things that they could do with and put that into this one game. And then also, you know, maybe they want to take some concept, just some little concept of The Force Awakens. Or, you know, backstory, maybe from the books or something, and put that all in this game. So, I really do think this is a good idea. We saw Darth Vader in the comment, or in the trailer, and we didn't really get to see his face, which leads me to believe he's going to end up being the overall main villain. Um, we didn't see too much. Yoda looked, oh my god, Yoda might be one of the coolest characters I personally feel like are in this game. He looked, he can move so fast. Now, I think the coolest thing I think everyone right here is all underestimating right now is that each of these characters, except for, you know, CP3O or R2-D2 and uh, Chewbacca, but all of the, like, the, you know, other kind of Star Wars characters, they're all going to have their own lightsaber, which is going to be somewhat built in with this character, so with, you know, each individual character. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We also got to see a few characters... And, and, um, I don't know, who comes in the two-pack, the starter pack? I think it might be Anakin. No, maybe it's not Anakin. I, I, losing track. We see a couple, it, it's, I, there's one of the Skywalkers that comes in the, uh, starter pack. I think it's Anakin. I think. Um, and we see him and, uh, and the girl from the Clone Wars, Star Wars the Clone Wars, and the two pet, the starter pack, it just comes with two figures and then the play set. So they are changing it up from their original and regular three characters per game, for, you know, per starter pack. I feel like that's just so they can make more money separately off of different character, you know, other characters. So instead of including a third one, maybe they're, you know, just want to make more money with selling that character they were going to put in the starter pack individually. 
or they're going to jack the price down from the whole starter pack because goddamn, those are pretty expensive for just the game, three characters, and then the starter pack, of course. You know, some would argue it's reasonable. It's pretty expensive. But I'm still going to be picking this up. This looks awesome. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, then what I'm going to say right now is that you are absolutely going to love this game. You know, my personal first reaction to this was, well, before I get into my reaction, you know, the theme of Disney Infinity 2.0 was Marvel superheroes, which when I first heard about that, I literally passed out and had to wake up. You know, I woke up later, but I passed out because I never thought that would actually happen. I thought that was such a cool concept, the different characters they would bring in. About a month ago or two, you know, I was thinking, you know, where they're going to go with 3.0. Because obviously, this is a very successful game franchise. So, where are they going next? The most, re you, know, the, you know, before we got all this news and trailer and stuff... 3.0, it seemed like they were heading in the Star Wars direction. There's, they're dropping all this big Star Wars news, Force Awakens, um, you know, spin-off movies here and there, the, uh, you know, Star Wars Rogue One, which is coming out uh, next year, or 2017, I believe, and all, they're just, there's all this big news about what's coming out with Star Wars. Disney's back in, you know, they're finally in control. They're working with Lucasfilm. And, you know, probably after, because Disney owns Marvel. After Marvel, now that they have all, you know, they have Star Wars in their grasp too, that's probably their next biggest franchise, like other franchise. Star Wars has a massive fan base. Probably... As big as the comic book fan base or bigger because everyone loves this. So, you know, if they didn't take it in the direction of Star Wars, I would be really concerned because I just, you know, I just thought it was the right direction. It really, I just feel like it really would have been good. It, would have, it, it was a good move for them to, I don't know, I just really, I thought, I, right now I'm really happy with the direction that they're taking Disney Infinity, and so, you know, when I found out about Star Wars, it wasn't a surprise, but, you know, I went crazy, because I, I, mean, I just, I love this. Now, as great as all the Star Wars characters coming, and the Star Wars play sets, and this new game, let's talk about the new original characters, and yes, everybody, yes, comic book fans, yes, Disney Infinity 2.0 fans, we will be seeing new Marvel superhero characters. So what does that mean? That means when Disney Infinity 4.0 comes around in, you know, the fall of 2016, that we will see, you know, whatever the new theme is, we will see new Disney original characters, we will see new Disney, or we will see new Marvel superhero characters, and we will see new Star Wars characters along with the new theme. So this is awesome. Let's talk about some of the originals first that are coming out. So apparently we are supposed to be seeing the original Mickey and Minnie from the, you know, like the original days of when the they were first drawn as cartoons. We will be seeing all five main Inside Out characters, which I'm a little skeptical on because they have never done all five of one, you know, movie, except with The Incredibles. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know if that's the right move going with all five Inside Out characters from, you know, the new Disney Pixar film. You know, no one even knows if that film's going to be that great or not. It looks like it's going to be awesome, but no one really knows. Then, alongside, we're supposed to be seeing both Tron, um, the new Tron Legacy Tron, and then also Korra from Tron also. That was kind of messed up. Everyone kind of, I mean, they announced that it might be coming out 3.0. Then it, they said it's going to be available for Disney Infinity 2.0 PC and online. And it just all got messed up. But if they end up doing Tron and Korra, I'm going to be insanely happy. And then we have Mulan, which that, she was also being rumored for a 3.0 character. She could be kind of cool. Not my most, you know, anticipated character, but definitely cool. And then the biggest one for me, who is confirmed because he was in the trailer for this, you know, the new Star Wars trailer, Olaf. 
How could they not do Olaf with Disney Infinity 2.0? I don't know. But now they're finally doing him with 3.0. Yes. Yes. Olaf. Thank God they're doing an Olaf. Man. Oh, man. That, wow. Wow. So I'm really happy that's happening. But now let's talk about some of the Marvel characters that we know are for sure coming. There's only two that we know that are brand new. Only two right now. But I think we might be really happy with, what, with what's to come with Marvel characters, considering they are going with <gasps> Age of Ultron. Yes, that's sort of where they're kind of going with the Marvel characters for 3.0. The question is, well, here, let me first tell you about the characters. So the two new ones that we know are for sure confirmed, because they were on this new official poster, are Ultron, who looks freaking epic, and then we see Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster. Yes. Yes. There you go. Right there, they have all of this great stuff, and, you know, Star Wars, then you get Olaf, and Tron, and Inside Out, and boom, Ultron and Hulkbuster. This game could be the greatest thing ever. Seriously. Now, let's sort of talk about what this means, if they're going with Ultron being some sort of a villain, and then also Hulkbuster. This might mean that they are going to have a special... Marvel playset and that Marvel play that could just be an Age of Ultron playset and might they much they you know they could just have one playset for them for the new Marvel characters maybe they do maybe they don't maybe you know Ultron and Hulkbuster are just going to be toy box characters I'm kind of hoping that they do have their own Age of Ultron playset I think that could be a lot of fun obviously they don't want to focus all the attention on Marvel superheroes but they're building a... I think that's just something they need to continue on. Let's say that they, you know, do an Age of Ultron playset. We could be seeing characters like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. And you guys all know what's coming. If you've seen Age of Ultron or the trailers or heard anything at all. Yes. The Vision. We could be seeing a Vision figure. I would literally pay what... how. Ever much at all they are asking for a vision character I will pay hundred dollars 150 200 sort of where I draw the line but because that's just kind of insanely expensive for just vision but I would pay as much money as they are truly asking for this vision action figure or, or not action figure for the infinity figure so I don't know if that's confirmed, if this is happening, but we have de definitely Ultron and Hulkbuster are going to be two new Marvel characters that are coming out. They have been featured on the poster, so we know that's official. That's going to be exciting, but Star Wars, everybody. Star Wars. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars Edition. And what you guys think about the new Disney original characters and the Di new Disney Infinity Marvel superheroes characters. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will be, once Disney Infinity 3.0, all that stuff comes out, I will be doing reviews on the full game, walkthroughs through each, you know, better challenge or whatever. And of course, you know it, figure reviews. So make sure you click that subscribe button. I've already pre-ordered the game, or I will be pre-ordering the game, and, um, you know, very soon. And that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click share, like, subscribe. And I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.